The Chippewas of Georgian Island First Nation has been operating as a government since 1953 and is located approximately 100 kilometers north of Toronto, consisting of three islands, Georgina, Snake and Fox, and includes two mainland access points off the southern shore of Lake Simcoe. Georgina Island is approximately 1,291 hectares and is over 70% forested, supporting ecologically diverse habitats and an extraordinary diversity of flora and fauna. Our mission is to preserve, promote, and advance the culture, health, education, economic, and social well-being of our community, which includes our language, history, and spirituality. As we look towards future generations and honor our traditional values, we strive to provide opportunities for our First Nation to instill pride in our membership and to promote the development of a safe and self-sufficient community. It wasn't until the 1690s that the Chippewa people came to settle in the area. The tribe, whose culture was based on hunting and trapping, migrated to Lake Simcoe and Georgian Bay from their ancestral territory around the Great Lakes in search of new game. As the land was settled, hunting and trapping opportunities became scarce and the Chippewas were forced to rely more on farming. By the early 1860s, a few families had moved to Georgina Island. It had a lot more open, arable land where they could farm on a larger scale. Human activity prior to the 1860s on Georgina Island is not widely documented. In the 1870s, much of the band resided on the island and today it provides permanent residence for approximately 200 out of 800 band members. The Anishinaabek have always been caretakers of Mother Earth and have a deep connection to the sacred elements of water, wind, earth and fire. Our people acknowledge this gift by providing offerings and ceremony to the Creator, Gijemido or Great Spirit. Being an island community means that Nebe or water plays an important role in our everyday lives. Not only do we rely on it for drinking, but also for ceremony, harvesting of food and medicines and for transportation to the mainland in all seasons. Traditionally, it has been the women's role to protect and pray for the water, which is often referred to as our first medicine. Elders teach us that Nebe brings life to all things, but that it can also take it away. Therefore, it should always be treated with respect. We honor those teachings and the water by offering our sacred sama or tobacco in an act of gratitude and reciprocity. In this era of climate change, Georgina Island First Nation has been a leader in adaptation. Once, our residents had to travel by boat or on foot to reach the mainland, depending on the season. Eventually, modern conveniences brought us our new car ferry in 1999. We have undertaken community-driven projects to examine how climate change impacts our lives and how best to prepare for the potential negative effects. Currently, we are examining our use of fossil fuels and looking for clean, renewable energy alternatives. Our deep spiritual, traditional, cultural, and emotional connection to the land which sustains us is further motivation to do what we can to safeguard the environment. The Georgina Island Environmental Department follows the principles of the Seven Grandfather Teachings to guide our work. It is important for us to nurture the island's ecosystem while protecting it from climate change and surrounding urban development. The Environmental Department delivers programs and services to address the unique environmental needs of our island. Our programs include waste management, energy conservation, forest management, species at risk management, invasive species management, climate change planning and adaptation. We do outreach programs with the community, from shoreline cleanups to educational booths, tree and shrub planting, invasive species workshops and removals, energy conservation kits with resources to equip homes with energy saving appliances and tools, and weekly curbside waste and recycling collection. We also do land-based learning at Wabgon Gamig First Nation School. All programming includes our youth as the future caretakers of the island. Our programs are specifically designed to cover all aspects of the services that we provide. Energy can mean a lot of things. Uh, it can be spirituality, because our bodies are full of energy. Energy is also hydro, wood burning, wood stoves, gas, propane, oil. That is a lot of energy that we use on Georgian Island. I have a diary from an aunt, and um, she said in her diary that um, 
on January the 16th, 1959, the lights went on on Georgina Island. And um, it's, of course it was winter and there was ice on the lake. So um, she was very pregnant with twins, but she walked over to get light bulbs. When I was born, there was no hydro over here on the island. So I've seen the phases that we've gone through in, in relation to energy, that I've seen the coal oil lamps <laughs> in my granny's house. Our house was a log house, and it was uh, all the wiring was outside on the walls, a great big uh, brown um, switch. And I remember it was a just getting dark, maybe about five o'clock, and my grandfather said, okay, turn the switch on. And I turned the switch on and everything was so bright because we had been just using an oil lamp and it was, it was amazing. As a First Nations community, the relationship between energy and environment is important. In 2003, a delivery fee was implemented due to the sale of Hydro One. Um, this was a costly burden for our community members, and it was at that time that our leadership had decided that uh, we wanted to look at different ways to generate our own uh, energy here in the community. A lot of our community is on propane furnaces, and the increased costs are concerning to the membership as well as the First Nation because our transportation service use a lot of oil and gas to make our ferry boat run. So the costs have gone up like over half of the amount we pay. It's like tripled in the energy we've used for that ferry boat since the day we had it brought into the community, our new vessel. Our community uses fossil fuels to operate our vehicles and our ferry boat. Um, and based on the community energy plan, we know that the ferry boat is a large consumer of energy. As inherent stewards of the land, we prioritize clean energy that will be less evasive to the environment. This is why we've entered into energy programming and hired a community energy champion to help us explore those opportunities. I mean, my name's Alyssa Warren. I grew up here on Georgina Island. I went to college um, and became a fish and wildlife technician, and I am now the community energy champion for Georgina Island. My role as a community energy champion is to help the residents find ways to conserve energy use in their homes and looking for renewable energy opportunities for the community itself. From outreach, energy conservation kits, elephant thoughts for the students at the school where they would learn and build renewable energy toys. The First Nation conservation program where residents got to switch their old appliances for energy efficient ones, and a feasibility study for more net metering for band owned buildings. As stewards of, uh, of the land, we want to ensure that the energy that's produced is affordable and yet we want to make it evident that it's our responsibility to do something towards climate change and ensure that uh, our future generations have uh, the ability to have the same life that, that we have and enjoy the land. We would like to see more solar projects here. We had one solar project developed for the solar panels on buildings, but it becomes costly. So I would like to see more incentives from the government for programs for solar power. Uh, my vision of energy for Georgina Island would be to make it more energy efficient by adding more solar net metering to band owned buildings to potentially make the buildings energy self-efficient and lower electricity costs. We are innovators, we are groundbreakers uh, um, in areas of moving forward in developing uh, safe, reliable mechanisms for our community. <laughs>